friends we are going to see a totally unedited recording of figo of this heart cataract here goes the main incision with a 2.8 mm steel keratome and now this is a side port on the left side of the main incision the eye is dipsited an air bubble is injected to fill up the anterior chamber. The anterior capsule of this heart cataract is stained with this stripe and blue dye underneath this air bubble. This is a bit of adrenaline. And now the dye is washed out. And now the anterior chamber is filled up with a viscoelastic substance. In this case, this is 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. Here goes the visco. And now is the time to do capsulorexis. The anticapsule is torn by the tip of the uterotar forceps. The capsular tag that is created is guided all around. And in this case, since this is a hard cataract, I am doing a large rexus. And this has been a very satisfactory round large rexus. Now hydro resection, BSS and a 27 Gauss cannula is being used for hydro resection. The nucleus is rotated. Again some visco to fill up the anterior chamber. And now is the time to introduce the tip of the FECO needle. The teeth has been exposed little more than other routine cases because I want to deliver more ultrasonic energy into the substance of the nucleus. See the cataract is so hard. Nucleus sclerosis is in grade 5. This is a hard brown cataract. And here goes my technique which I call submarine chop. See how the tip is traveling through the substance of the nucleus and here it is. We get a nice crack at on go. No sculpting, no central beat, nothing. Just one movement and the nucleus divides into two halves. Now each heminucleus is being subdivided and then the larger pieces are being chopped into smaller pieces this is the other heminucleus this fragment is free and I am emulsifying it and this is the larger piece of the hemonucleus. It is subdivided into two pieces and the pieces are removed. Now let me tell you the settings. From the very beginning, the ultrasonic energy is 80% in continuous mode. Flow rate is 45 ml per minute. Vacuum is 200 is 450 millimeter of mercury. This is Oatly Catrex 3. The bottle height is 110 centimeter. Now this is the last nuclear piece. At this time the ultrasonic energy remains the same. 
flow rate is 25 and vacuum is 250 millimeter of mercury. And it is done. The nucleus is nicely managed. Now cortical cleanup is to be done. I'm going to use a 23 gauze Simco cannula to remove these cortex. See how beautifully it comes. go through the side four side port to remove the sub incisional cortex there is only one side port 90 degree away from the main wound so the astigmatism produced by the main wound will be neutralized to some extent by the side port side port The main wound is enlarged a little bit because I'm going to use a B cartridge. Now this is hydroimplantation of a single piece monofocal intraocular lens. This patient could not afford a hydrophobic lens, so this is a hydrophilic acrylic single piece monofocal intraocular lens. This is irrigation of the anterior chamber, irrigation of the bag to remove some visco, whatever visco is there in the lumen of the cartridge. This is a bit of moxifloxacin and now the side port is closed nicely. The corneal stroma is hydrated and the side port closes. The main wound doesn't require any hydration. It will be self-sealed. This is the final lavage of the anterior chamber. And then the anterior chamber is formed very nicely in this way. And the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills.